Good morning, Lemon Ring Makers. I'm actually at a, a little coffee shop. I just uh, woke up. I had a late, late, late night last night. Um, but I'm going to the Imperial City today and I'm just having some smoothie and breakfast. Um, I'm at a place called Tic Tac Coffee and Bistro. And um, it's really good. They have like uh, smoothies and coffee and different things. And I got a banana peanut butter smoothie. So it's really good. It's very sweet. Bananas here are really sweet, I didn't realize. Um, so what are we doing today? We're going to the Imperial City. We're going to explore that. We're going to maybe go to some of the pagodas and just kind of see where the day takes us. I am super excited to share all that with you. Hey, memory makers, we are on our way to the Asian capital city, Hue. We are in Hue, but within Hue there is a Imperial City, which is the historical city for um, Vietnam, and uh, we used to be the capital. Uh, during the Ning Dynasty, the uh, folks here were ruled by an emperor, and um, that was actually from 1800 till 1945, after World War II. Um, Hue was no longer the capital, and then the Indonesian China War started. Whole different story. Um, holy crap, there's the flag tower. Talk about a big tower. Uh, <laughs> um, so let's check it out. Let's see if we can somehow drive over there and um, see what the buzz is all about. Long live Emperor Chris, ruler of his own imagination. been rejected from the capital city. Why? Because I'm at the back entrance and they won't let me in. Um, but make sure you choose the right entrance. Typical Chris thing to do. Okay, so we found the flag tower. Uh, okay, so the saga continues. The never-ending story of walking in Vietnam. Um, I'm parked over there. That's where you have to park. In the entrance. It's all the way over there. And of course you can take a bicycle to um, get ferried over to the other side. And you might think, you know, Chris, you're a little stingy man. You're right. Sometimes I am. But at the end of the day, all these ferries and walking back and forth, um, driving back and forth with these bikes, it adds up. So, you know, I'm here for a month. And if I take every ride for 300000 um, you know, I'm blowing my budget, so sometimes I just have to walk and look like a complete tourist with my hat and my sunglasses, but that's okay. Pretty warm today. It's like 35 Celsius. Um, at this point, my body just sweats all the time. <laughs> uh, yeah, so keep you posted once we get in there. All right, uh, the walking episode is over and now we're here. And we're gonna go inside. Check it out. Behind me is the Forbidden City. And it's forbidden because it's under construction. Um, I always have luck like that. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, it happens. It's all right. We'll just explore the complex. We have two other tombs I want to see today. And I'm more interested in like the architecture of it all yeah, than the history, to be honest. But, you know, that's all right. Just making our way through 
an empire. Onboard's Memory Makers it was pretty nice, but it's hot as hell outside and I'm getting sunburn again, so I think I just have to find a place somewhere to get a sweater or something to wear. Mission accomplished. I got a sweatshirt thingy. Um, this video is sponsored by Louis Vuitton. Just kidding, it's not. But hit me up if you want to sponsor me. Um, you know, because Louis Vuitton. And now we're off to the next destination, the Kingdom Tomb. We'll take a look at that, have some lunch somewhere in between, and uh, just go with the flow, you know, as one does. I stopped for a quick lunch at Kin Jin Su, which was one of the famous Hui restaurants for traditional Hui food, since Hue is the capital of food in Vietnam with old traditional dishes and I enjoyed it very much and then I was off to the Kingdom Tomb. Memory makers. So here we are at the Kingdom Tomb behind me and um, this empire actually only ruled for nine years from 1916 till 1925 and uh, he wasn't really popular because he was basically a puppet emperor from the French colonization and used Texas to build this giant complex. I mean what kind of ego do you have to have to build a tomb this big for yourself and you only reigned for nine years and not only that he was a drug addict he died young and um, apparently had tuberculosis and I'll do you one better he was married but not really it was more of a Games of Thrones situation where he's fucking his own cousin well not his cousin but his guard um, so big two big place and that's that's about it so you know quick history with Chris <laughs> What's wrong in this picture? <laughs> I'm on the um, construction highway and I uh, asked for directions because Google Maps, you know, it's Google Maps and it led me to a brand new construction highway which is being um, partly completed and the road I need to go to, the actual road to the Ming Mang tomb is completely missing. So now I'm like driving <laughs> through this here, trying to get back up out. And I think I see a light at the end of this tunnel over here to get myself out of this mess <laughs> and over the highway again. Oh my goodness. I mean, only I would do things like that. So, you ask yourself, how did I do that? Don't always follow Google Maps. Well, it was funny for a minute until I got to a bridge which had a hole in it. And uh, how am I gonna drive over a hole? Ask yourself, you can't, but long behold, 
Now I know you go down here, hopefully, without dying. Oh Lord. There we go. Down and under the bridge. Down and under the bridge. Okay. Got it. What an adventure today. Every day is an adventure in Vietnam, I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, so Ming Mang tomb, trying to get there. And basically that tomb is even older, uh, 17th century. And um, that guy was a real badass. More about that in a minute. I'm on my way to the Ming Mang tomb. And you ask yourself, Chris, why are you walking along a wall? And where's the tomb? And why does it look like you're lost in the jungle? That's because I parked somewhere 200 meters away again to get to the actual main entrance, to get to the actual tomb, to pay an actual guard his 10,000 VND. <laughs> so that's just life here. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the tomb in a little bit. Ming Mang tomb. Um, but guess what? Ming Mang tomb is only opened once a year uh, on the anniversary of the death. So I can't go in. I'm standing in front of a giant iron gate over there. It's an underground palace and tomb, and it only gets open once a year during the anniversary of the death. After visiting all these tombs, I was dead tired. Get it? Dead tired tomb. Anyway, so then I was off for dinner and this is where we're heading next. So it's dinner time and I find myself at Le Jardin La Cambole. So it's a authentic Quay restaurant. We're gonna have dinner here tonight and check it out. How would I describe Vietnamese food? Refreshing, caring, nurturing, and you can see that people's soul is on the dish. And um, tonight I'm getting a banana um, leaf salad, and it looks just absolutely delicious with some shrimp inside and other seafood. And Huey uh, has just shown me the culinary arts of Vietnam. It is true that it is the capital of food and not only the imperial capital, as it was once before. Next up we have uh, duck with lemon chili, and uh, I'm looking forward to that as well. So, so this duck is absolutely delicious. The uh, lime is kind of like bouncing off the chili. That kind of leaves this little tanginess in your mouth at the end, and it's really good. So, can't do anything wrong here at this restaurant and Quay. So the food here is amazing, the people are great. If you're ever here, you should come check out this place. Um, I had a really long day and so I'm just gonna enjoy my dinner. And I hope to see you when we go to uh, Da Nang and Hoi An. So like and subscribe and thank you very much. Have a good night. <laughs>